What's up everyone, I'm Brett Harpster and today we are gonna be going over the best lens you can buy without spending way too much money. This is actually the first lens that I purchased myself after doing a lot of research and everything and I didn't have like a whole lot of money to spend on an expensive lens. I was kind of just looking around trying to see what I could get for the best deal and I kind of came across this lens here. This is a Canon 50 millimeter 1.4 lens. Also, this is a fixed focal length lens. This is not a zoom lens, this is a 50 millimeter and it's that's all it is, is a 50 millimeter. One camera I have, a Canon 80D, which is a crop sensor. If you would put the 50 millimeter on a crop sensor, it would then become an 85 millimeter. Um, if you then use a full frame camera, this right here is the 60 Mark II full frame camera that I just got in the mail today. I'm actually going to be doing a video on this camera soon. I don't want to get too much into it today just because it'd be, you know, just a lot more to go over. Now, when I say this lens is a 50 millimeter 1.4, number is your f-stop, which is pretty much depending if you want a blurry background or you don't want a blurry background. The lower the number, more blurry your background is going to be. This lens, that number right there where it says 1.4. See a lot of cameras now like um, you can buy in a kit and a lot of those lenses that come are usually like a 3.5 or a 4 f-stop which they are is still a good lens to start out if you're just learning photography and everything but those lenses definitely as being a kit lens they're they come as a kit for a reason i do not have any kit lenses when i first bought my first camera i didn't want any of the kit lenses just because a lot of the reviews that i did they're not as sharp the color isn't as good but i mean if you're just starting out in photography and really just trying to learn the basics and everything buying a kit and it's also a better deal definitely a lot cheaper and a way to save money but if you're going for more quality and have a little bit more money to spend, you're definitely better off just buying your camera body and buying your lens separate. And that's what I did. I bought my first camera was what I'm actually filming on right now is the Canon 80D. And like a day after that, I ordered the 50 millimeter 1.4. And that's the setup I used probably my first year. And another thing you guys always see like a lot of my photos, some of the ones that I've done using any of the neon signs and everything, that was done on the 50 millimeter. It's kind of how I get that crazy bokeh effect. It really blurs out the background. So if you want a lens that gives you that crazy Brandon Wolfel bokeh effect, this is definitely the lens you can buy. And you guys can get this lens for just around $350 off of Canon's website, which I know like I only say like, oh, it's only $350, which is still a lot of money, but it is nothing compared to the $1,200 lens that I'm filming on right now versus this is just as good as quality. The only difference is the body on this lens is actually plastic. Um, it's not like a regular metal lens like most lenses. It's very sharp, very crisp, all picture color everything is like super nice but like i said i've had it over a year and it's it's holding up pretty well i mean you take care of it and everything keep it stored away and all that stuff and it's it stays in good shape it's a great lens just for a beginner photographer but also for a more proficient photographer pretty much anybody that is into photography should definitely have this lens in their bag make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and also leave comments below what other videos you guys would like to see check out my instagram at brett harpster and make sure you guys subscribe below if that's something you feel like doing. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.